Sam, talk about your game. I would assume, I guess, in terms of the last point streak compared to this one, but how elevated your game is now? I mean, I'm pretty pretty confident right now. I think I'm playing pretty well, but I think that more importantly, it's a team. I think, what is that, 13, 13 straight? 12, yeah, 13 straight. So, obviously, you're playing pretty good, and when your team's playing good, obviously, it's pretty easy to get points, especially playing with, I'd say, two of the best players in the league and Sean and Brendan, and they're two of my best friends. So, it's pretty good to play with them, and I think that we have great chemistry, and hopefully, we can keep it going. You guys battled some adversity there in the third period. Uh, what do you think has to change in terms of holding a lead like that against a great team? I think that we got a little loose on the bench. We weren't really focused in as much as we were maybe 10 minutes before in the first period, maybe beginning of the second. But I think that that's actually a pretty good lesson for us to learn. Uh, I mean, we're not going to win every game 10 nothing like we have before the season. And I think that learning how to play a close game, it's going to be like that in playoffs. And uh, I think it's a good lesson for us to learn now rather than be on the other end of it in playoffs. You've got a nine-game streak going uh, points-wise. So does Matt Coronado now. How important is that to have that kind of depth throughout the lineup? I think it's good to have, like you said, to have depth throughout the lineup. I mean, we have some guys might not have streaks, but we have everyone's producing. I mean, Ellis has been on a pretty good streak lately. He's got a couple goals in the last couple of games. So, I mean, I think that if we have different guys scoring, whether it may not be every game, but if we have lots of different guys scoring, and it's only going to help us down the run.